All right, so in the last video, we went over these uh, rules for working with exponents. Now we should see how these work in practice, okay? Um, so in the first example, we're just going to point out some, some basic principles here. This is coming all the way back again to the stuff that you, you thought you were too old for, right? Order of operations, um, you know, brackets, exponents, things like that. Uh, because, again, it's, you know, we think we know it, but we mess it up all the time. So, so one is to think about, you know, if I had like 2 plus 3 squared, right? Versus, say, 2 plus 3 squared. Um, these are not the same thing, right? Because order of operations says that we should always do the exponent first, right? This one is, is 2 plus 9, right? Which is 11, right? Because you apply the square first, and then you add 2. Uh, whereas here, the parentheses say, well, oh, I should really first do 2 plus 3. I do the thing inside the bracket first. I do the 5, then I square it. I get 25, right? Um, maybe the other one we should throw in here, right? Because this is one that, that again, is, is a common mistake. Maybe not when there's numbers in, but definitely this is a, once there's an x in there, it's going to happen. 2 squared plus 3 squared, right? So there's, there's always this tendency, there's this, you know, this wishful thinking, we want to just apply the exponent to both things, right? But we know that this, this is not, right, what does that give me? 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 plus 9 is 13, right? All very different answers, right? Of course, the reason that these ones don't agree is that when you're doing 2 plus 3 squared, right? Again, think in terms of, if you like, repeated multiplication. This really means 2 plus 3 times 2 plus 3. And if you wanted to, you could distribute that out, right? Nobody would ever bother when it's just numbers, but say, say this was x plus 3, right? If it's x plus 3, well, then we know what to do, right? x plus 3, we want to square it. x plus 3 times x plus 3, and, and we multiply that out. Um, now, most of you probably kind of internalized this, you've remembered your, your FOIL rule. Um, you might have even memorized the formula for, for a square, right? You can just write down the answer without even thinking about it. Certainly saves time. But one thing to remember is, well, really what you're doing is you're doing the first term here, right? x times the bracket, x plus 3. Then you're doing the 3 times that bracket, x plus 3. And then you're expanding again, x times x, x squared, x times 3, 3x, 3 times x, 3x, three, 3 times 3, 9, right? Lots of people say, oh yeah, this is FOIL rule, right? First, outside, inside, last, they get straight to that answer. That's fine too. Uh, the only downside with, with kind of, you know, relying on something like FOIL is, is you know, what if, what if there was another term here? What if there was another x plus 3? What if this was x squared plus 2x plus 3, right? What if one of these had three terms in it instead of two? Um, FOIL's nice, but it only deals with one situation among many. It's a common situation. That's why we have an acronym. But, you know, there are lots of other situations that can come up. So it's nice to remember, you know, you can do this even if you forget FOIL. Uh, last step, of course, combine the middle terms. A lot of you probably can write down that answer in one step. That's fine if you can. But if you've forgotten, you're out of practice, you can always get there by relying on fundamentals, right? Okay. So it's important to remember things like this. It's not just x squared plus 9. There's that term in the middle, right? It's easy to forget it. Um, the other one where you might forget it is, you know, what if I'm doing something like... Uh, Square root of 1 plus 3. 
This is another one of these cases where you have this, this idea that there, there are implied parentheses, right? The 1 plus 3 is inside the square root, right? It's inside this, if you like, a square root function. We haven't quite talked about functions yet. But you ought to do the addition before you do the square root, right? This is the square root of 4. It's 2, right? It's not square root of 1 plus the square root of 3, right? 1 plus root 3, it's definitely not the same thing as 2. One is an integer, the other one's not even rational. Okay? So be careful about that. Everyone says, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, I know, I, I would never do that. Yeah, you say you'd never do that now, and then I give you something like the square root of x squared plus 4, and I don't know, somebody's going to tell me that's x plus 2. It's not, right? This is just something that does not simplify. Okay? Sometimes we just want to simplify things. We want, we want our answers to be as simple as possible. And sometimes they can't be as simple as we'd like it to be, and that's okay. That's something you just kind of have to live with. Um, okay, um, some basic examples with, uh, with exponents. I think we're going we're gonna to pause here. We're going to come back. We're going to do some, uh, some slightly more complicated examples before we move on.